Hello, in today's video, we'll go over the difference between a subquery and common table expression. So let's get started. Uh, so here we have the syntax for a subquery above and below we have a syntax for a common table expression. Uh, they are both essentially the same thing. The main difference, okay, the main difference is with the common table expression, you can, re uh, you can create uh, recursive queries, okay. If chances are, chances are, if you are watching this video, you do not need to worry about creating a recursive query because it's a little bit uh, uh, complicated. A little complex. You you might you might learn uh, you might learn that later. Okay, but for now we will not focus on on creating recursive query. We're going to go ahead and, and uh, work on a problem that utilizes both. Uh, we can utilize a subquery, and after that we can utilize a common table expression. Okay, so here's a question: Given a revenue revenue transaction table that contains uh, three columns, user ID, timestamp, and revenue, how would you find the third purchase of every user? Okay, how? Uh, a good hint for you is that you should use um, a, a window function, okay? We're gonna use the rank window function, all right? So here I have my table, uh, transaction table, okay? With the three columns, user ID, uh, purchase timestamp, and revenue. Uh, I'm, I, I'm going to go ahead and uh, first work on the subquery, and then after that, I will work on the common table expression. So let's first, uh, let's first focus on our subquery, okay? Uh, I'm going to first go ahead and write my inner query first, uh, my inner query, and then after that, I'll write my outer query. The reason why is because it, it makes things easier for, for me in this case, okay? In this issue, uh, in this problem, I'm gonna work on my, my inner query. You, you will see, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and select, um, I'm gonna select the user ID, and I'm gonna go ahead and select the purchase timestamp and the revenue, and then after that, I want to select, um, I want to go ahead and create a, a rank, a window function, all right? over and we're going to partition it by uh, the user ID and we're going to order it by uh, purchase timestamp. Okay, and we'll give it an alias called ranking just to make things easier for us. Um, and we're, this is from the table transaction. Okay, our subquery is done. Uh, let's go ahead and, I mean, our, our inner query is done. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, finish my outer query. So I'm going to select everything from my, from my uh, subquery, okay, where ranking equals three. All right. So here's this, this part right here is my outer query and inside is my inner query or my subquery okay and i created a window function rank uh ranking and i want i'm going to select uh the third purchase of every user okay now if i run this there's an error this is the the issue is that i need to give my my subquery right here an alias you always have to give your subquery an alias okay i'm gonna call it as t1 okay there you go there you have it all right Let's go ahead and work on a common table expression, all right, a, a CTE. Um, I love CTE because it's more readable. That's why I use it all the time. Uh, so we're gonna do it with T1 as, all right, and we're just gonna go ahead and, and copy everything from here. All right, now I have the first part of my common table expression, okay? I'm gonna write my query. So I'm gonna select everything from T1 from my common table expression from T1 where ranking equals three. Okay, I'm gonna highlight this and now I'm gonna go ahead and run my run this code with my keyboard shortcut. And there you have it. Okay, just to just to prove it, I'm gonna go ahead and comment this and then I'm gonna run it. Okay, there you go. Uh, they're uh, both the same. Okay, thank you so much and uh, have a good day.